Hi guys, this is Faith with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today again. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome and thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do three quick and easy, inexpensive, beautiful Mother's Day gift ideas. Now, the, the first one is going to be a wreath. So you will need a Dollar Tree wreath. You will need some of the Dollar Tree scrunchies and you're gonna need some flowers. I'm going with this Walmart flowers, but it's still categorized as a dollar because it's 97 cents. You will need your glue gun and your glue sticks. You definitely need a wire cutter to separate your flowers. And actually, you know, I'm thinking maybe we don't have to cut the wires. Maybe we can pull them apart, just like that. Maybe we can go this way. You will definitely need some scissors because you have to cut all your tags off. And we're gonna jump in by starting to separate or to fluff out this bath scrunchie. So what I want to do is define where the opening of this is, which I just did. And then you're going to go through and fluff it all out. So I've gone around and add to the wreath and that's the back side. And I wanted to bring you in to show you my last. I have one space that I saved. And basically I'm taking the strings and removing that, just cutting it off. Make sure it's as fluffy as you want it to be. Then separate. I want to actually I have this Dollar Tree ribbon and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I went ahead and um, take a piece of it because I want to have it to hang on to the door. So I'm going to go ahead and now add the last one. So I'm going to lay my glue down onto the ribbon, onto the rack. And I'm going to put it in place. Bend it under. And add a dab of glue. Just for extra security. Hold that till it's dry. Then we can go ahead and tie this piece together. And that's it. Now that I've got that all in place, I want to start to add my flowers. And uh, we'll do that in random places. I think mostly because the orange, I'm going to go ahead and start with placing it around the oranges. And just put it in place. So guys, I went ahead and add some of those purple little um, ribbons that I add to the top that I want to use to hang. I just went ahead and put a couple strips of it in between the flowers. So I'm gonna hang this on the door and let you take a look at it. next DIY is going to be a choker. I love chokers and I think they are so easy to create and I want to do one for you. So what you will need for this is a piece of trimming and I got this trimming from Joanne's Fabric and this is my choice. You will need a piece of ribbon and I went ahead and measure 
according to the size of my neck already. And I am using the ribbon with extension so anyone can wear this choker. I also want to add some of the Dollar Tree gems. You will need some fabric glue and I am going to use the fabric glue, but I want to also use the glue gun and glue sticks because I want to make sure it's dry and you're able to see this tutorial in its finished form. You will need your scissors so you can cut your ribbon and your trimming. So what I want to do is take my ribbon and break it in half so I'll know where my center is. Now I want to lay the ribbon out straight and then take my trim and lay it on top of the ribbon. And I purposely um, purchase the ribbon to be wide to match the band of this trimming. I hope this is making sense to you. So according to the width of the band of the choker is what I went with for the ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and lay one side over. And I think I may want to put it onto my trimming and then lay it onto the ribbon. So I'm gonna put a dab of glue in the center of this trimming so you cannot see the glue at all. Then I'm going to lay it over and press. So I went ahead and add the gems, but I went with the Walmart gems that are slightly bigger. So now I want to add the Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree gems onto the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to add the gems at the bottom and then we will take a look at the finished product. Just like that. This is how it turned out, absolutely love that. And so I want to demonstrate for you by taking it and you would just tie a bow how sexy is that i love the way that that look i hope you guys like it as much as i do and if you wanted not to have it too far back you could do that as well but i just love the way that that look i think without any sleeves, this would be a beautiful choker on a sleeveless dress. All right, guys, I hope you like that for a Mother's Day gift, and we will jump right into our next DIY. Next DIY is going to be a quick floral arrangement. And I saw this cup at the Dollar Tree, and it says, I love you more than coffee but not always before coffee. I think that's adorable for a Mother's Day gift. So what I want to do is go ahead and add my flowers and some gems. So what you'll need for this floral is some of these little um, Dollar Tree flowers. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm going with these three. You're gonna need your wire cutter, your glue gun, glue sticks, and we will get started on this. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to add a ribbon or not, but we will see as we go along. All right, so I place a little piece of foam that I had left over onto the inside of my mug. Then I'm going to separate these and I'll come back and start arranging.
Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. Love the way it looked. I think it's very beautiful for a Dollar Tree Mother's Day bouquet. Guys, if you like the way that these three DIY turned out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and please share the videos with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time and your support and your comment. So please leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are about these three DIYs for Mother's Day. I truly appreciate it and I will see you on my next.